Hello YouTube, thank you for watching Aerotech Tutorials. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to fix the, um, basically the camera sensor in the Spark, in DJI Spark. And, um, so, so what happened in this case was, and I crashed the Spark. So, and now when I open the DJI 4 app, so I have this uh, error. So let me show you first uh, how to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So first you need to open the DJI 4 app and then you need to find uh, the Spark. So okay, so just click on the Spark and you will see a different number, I think. Uh, once you're connected, go back to your DJI 4 app and you will see then, uh, you will see this, this, uh, this uh, window. It said no image transmission signal. So it means that the, somehow the sensor or the camera is not working properly. So you will see all these uh, errors. If, if you go to the overall status, you will see all these um, problems. Even I tried to restart the DJI 4 app, I tried a different battery, it didn't work, it didn't fix the issue. So everything else besides the video uh, is working fine. Uh, the, only, the other thing that is not working is the, the, S, the SD card, so you cannot format the SD card as well. As you can see here, it doesn't recognize the SD card. And I have one SD card, micro SD card, inside the DJI Spark, but uh, somehow uh, the, the DJI Spark uh, is not recognizing the, the, uh, the SD card. So, and this problem happens because I crashed the, the spark. And after I crash it, I pick it up and I lose the signal. So you will see this, um, this warning or um, the no image transmission signal. Even you can operate the drone, you can fly it. It won't be an issue, but you won't see any video. Okay, so let me show you how to fix this error or this problem. So first you need to turn off the DJI Spark uh, and there are some videos how to uh, take off the plastic cover. I don't know, maybe you have a white plastic cover or a, um, a different color. So first you need to remove these four screws to remove this uh, metal plate. Okay. And, and then there is a EMI gasket, a conductive sponge that is uh, covering the connectors for the flexible cables. So the one that we are interested to, to, to see if the cable is loose uh, is this one right here with the black, um, I think, uh, black piece of paper, uh, plastic or cloth. So this is the one that is, uh, for my case, uh, this is the one that got, got loose. So when the DJI Spark crashed, so somehow the the connector got loose so what what are you gonna do I'm just gonna push it down just to make a um, just to make a connection so just with the plastic uh, tip or um, uh, something made of plastic uh, just push it down uh, and see if, if this is gonna fix the problem so okay so as you can see I'm just pushing um, down the, the connector just to make a better connection between the 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 cable I mean the flexible cable and the adapter for the connector okay and that's it so then uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna see if uh, it does gonna fit if, if if by pushing the uh, the LBDS cable or the the flexible cable is gonna fix my problem so now I'm gonna open the DJI 4 app and I'm gonna search for the Spark again in my Wi-Fi. So I see the Spark, so I just kinda connect to the Wi-Fi network uh, from the DJI Spark. And then I'm going back to the um, DJI 4 app and see if I get the video signal. Okay, so it's a, um, 
So the video came back. So now you have all these safety notifications and if you are close to an airport, which I am, so some warnings basically, that's what the app is telling you. And you are ready to fly and now the video is, is back. So as you can see, just by pushing the LVDS uh, or the flexible cable down, it fixed the, the video issue. So now I don't have the, um, uh, the no image transmission signal um, problem anymore. And the video is working fine. So, and this happened because I crashed the DJI Spark. So somehow when the, uh, the drone crashed, so the cable got loose. And that was the main reason. So lucky for me, then the camera didn't um, break. So the camera is, 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 is working fine. So the gimbal is, 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 is working fine as well. So the main problem was the loose connection between the, um, the flexible cable. So now I'm putting back the uh, EMI gasket or the conductive uh, sponge. So as you can see, this is a very, uh, uh, well, I will say it's a bad design, but so somehow uh, the engineer decided to leave it the way it is. So as you can see, the metal clip is just pushing the the connect or is keeping the connectors down by making pressure between the with the metal clip and the sponge so and you know then it's not very secure so that's why i have this issue so now i'm just putting back uh, the four screws and i will close the drone okay so lucky for me then i didn't didn't need to replace the camera module so I just have to do some adjustments or just push down the flexible cable. Okay. So now you can use like a, a pair of tweezers just to hold the small screws and align it with the holes and, uh, and just um, put them back in. Okay. As you can see, this plastic cover um, is very easy to put back in. So you just need to push it down. And there are some plastic clips that are going to hold it in place. Just, you just need to push it down. Make sure that you align it uh, properly. Otherwise, you can break the uh, plastic clips. Okay, so it's 
ready. So now we're going to put the other screws back. So this is the tricky part because um, I just want to show you that the, I had a micro SD card inside. Um, okay, so you need to remove the battery just by pulling these two tabs. Okay. So now I'm going to put back the screws. So these four screws are very easy to, uh, uh, to put. But the two screws in front close to the camera module, those are the hard ones. Because uh, the screwdriver that I'm using is it's a little bit uh, too thick and the space between the hole and the camera module is not big enough. It's not wide enough for I me. Mean. I can speed up the process, but I want to show you how, um, well, how hard it is to put the screws back in. So for some of you guys, maybe it's not a big issue, but I know when you don't have the right tools, it's going to be uh, a little bit um, hard. Okay. Okay, so now uh, this is these are the other two uh, holes uh, for the other two screws. So as you can see, I have um, uh, the tip of the screwdriver that I'm using is a little bit wide, so it's very hard to insert the screwdriver between the um, I'll say the plastic housing and the camera module, and at the same time. Uh, put the screw back in so but you need to be very patient for during this process and take your time basically be patient and take your time Okay. I want to show you the tip number that I'm using for this uh, project. So it's the T4. Uh, it's hard to see with the camera, so it's not focusing. Uh, let me see if I can bring it closer. No, the camera is not focusing. Okay, so let me put the battery back in and I'm gonna turn it on um, and just double check if everything is working okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the drone is on. I'm just gonna open the DJI 4 app and see if I see video basically.
Okay, so the video is working okay. So I call it a junk complete. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.